What's going on, everyone, and welcome back to our playthrough of Republic at War for Empire at War as the Confederacy of Independent Systems. In the last episode, we took Renvar, and we sort of tried to consolidate our holdings in this area of the map. Uh, all in all, we have made a fair bit of progress recently, and I think it's all due to our malevolence here, Ghost Sniper. Uh, I honestly can't remember who got named after what ship, or what ships got named after who in the previous few episodes, so I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I believe we do have a Lucre Hulk named Michael. It might be a Providence. Uh, I know there were four or five names that I distributed there, but the only one that's really sticking in my memory here is the Malevolence uh, as Ghost Sniper, or Steve, as I wanted to call it. But uh, I, the last time I recorded this was with that live stream ten days ago. So I'm a little bit rusty on what I was doing here. Oh look, Rushy Asteroid Fields. If you have been... When is this going? This is going up tomorrow. So you haven't seen the first episode of the Maldred playthrough, but this is going to play a significant, significant role in the upcoming Maldred thing. That should actually be coming tomorrow. So, spoiler alert. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep going down the trade route here, take the wheel and the Rushy Asteroid Fields, because that should both be space only. And that should be something that our malevolence really helps with. And that should help even more to secure our hold in this area. So we're just going to go straight into it here. Uh, what do they have? I don't even care. Malevolence. Doesn't matter, got malevolence. Do I think that's necessarily good for balance or anything, that the AI sees this and runs away? Oh, what a sky dome. Uh, no, I don't necessarily think that's a good thing. However, when we are getting beaten back as much as we have been, now is the time for us to strike the I will take advantage of that. So, go sniper, get in here. If I lose this malevolence, I'm going to be very upset. Send in these guys. I remember reading... I'm going to have to look back through the comments again. I know a lot of you have been leaving very useful comments as far as which ships are good and which ships aren't. Uh, the Lucra Hawks and Providence obviously being the chief of the good ships. And I guess the uh, I guess the Malevolence would be in there as well. But I, I'm honestly a little bit behind on... Or not behind on it, I just can't remember exactly what I read. So I'm going to have to take another look through that when I can. We got coordinates are locked. Just sprinkle in some munificence. Everything beat the crap out of that IST. Hopefully they don't mess each other's pathing up too much. That Luke Rock is taking a lot of damage. Uh, we don't have many buzz droids, or not buzz droids, any many fighters, ultra droids. Somehow, we're gonna lose the Luke Rock for sure. Oh, no. This Providence is gonna have to come in and do some work. They're just leaving. I don't care. Take out the engines, take out the engines on everything. I'll take it. They lost the ISD, they lost that space station, we gained the planet. Uh, what are they going to do? Nothing. So that didn't do any damage to any of our ships. Uh, that's weird. Even favorable engagements they're not going to stick around for as long as the malevolence is there. What's the AI combat power look like on that? Oh well. It's ours now. Uh, and then we're going to go into the asteroid field here. That should be... Okay, it's only level 4. But... Did we lose our Pathfinder in that? We may have done. We may well have. 
Yeah, we did. Oh well, at least we're all out, ready to shoot. There's no way they stick around for this if they left for everything else. So this isn't going to be a great shipyard for us like it would be uh, an ICW, but it'll be good because we'll control this whole area along that trade route all the same. The Malevolence isn't even going to be able to get through here. Yeah, it's not... That's unfortunate. So you guys get in there. Get some of these bombers in. I don't even know what these bombers are called. Probably just droid bomber. Yeah. Take that out. I'm not sure which of their ships are actual ships and which are just... What are they called? Reinforcement ship type things. We'll send these guys out to attack there. Take these guys out. Most of these ships are literally just death fodder. I couldn't care less about the individual munificence at this point. Munificence. Uh, Lucre Hulk, or Recusance, come on in. Then I think what we're gonna gonna want to do after these battles is go and take Honiger. Just because it's the last in that little cluster of planets by the Maw that we haven't taken yet. Oh, Malevolence is trying to fudge its way through here. Take out the planet, powder weapons. Alright, malevolence is in range. These are these are ground units. We're gonna get so many credits from taking out stuff here. But credits aren't really a huge issue for us anyway, so. I really just want to make sure we take out the shipyard. Uh, can the Wevelins even do anything here? I feel like the asteroids are really blocking it, and that's no bueno. Well, try to send in as many of our fighters as we can. The pathing on this map is really going to set us back. I really wish we'd had that Pathfinder and then we could just jump directly into this area and not have to worry about uh, these bottlenecks messing up the pathing. It's not even the concentration of fire coming through them. It's just that the ships are flying around each other, unsure of how to proceed. And that's a little annoying, but that's Empire at War, so... I knew what I was getting into. Providence is going to be able to take that out. And just use the broadside ability, I think, and then it should be okay. Because it, the Venator doesn't have any weapons trained on it, and it's just this other dreadnought here. I need to keep reminding myself that this is the Clone Wars when these ships are actually the powerful ones around. Okay, so that actually probably is a garrison unit for this station. Can you do something? Can you, like, even just go sideways here? Is that gonna help you? Maybe. It looks like it's doing a bit. Am I just being super... <laughs> yeah, no shit. Am I being very optimistic with that? Alright, send these guys in, send these guys in. Oh, there we go. What are you hitting? 
nothing. That is that going to do anything? It'll look cool. That's helpful. I do like it when things look cool, so we'll, we'll let it keep doing its thing. But, as much as I want you to look cool, can you look cool while hitting the Venator? That's the next test. You can! Perfect. And the Acclimator? Is that necessary? Probably not. Come on, kill them. Alright, they are leaving now. That engine's down, these engines are going to be down. I think these are all just rein or, uh, yeah, reinforced garrison ships. So they shouldn't really matter if we take them out or not. We lost two recusants, six munificents, munificents, four patrol frigates, and a techno union frigate. I don't even remember putting in the techno union frigate or telling it to do anything. Uh, well, I definitely didn't put it in because the... We didn't have a Pathfinder, but that's not too bad. Those asteroid fields are ours. And I guess we'll just pop over... You pop over here. You pop over here. Uh, then our Renvar army can pop over here as well. The hags are terrible, that much we know. This we know for a fact. The persuaders are apparently very good, you guys were telling me. And so are these. And we'll just go as fast as possible into Honiger. Ah, oh, I didn't even put in the Pathfinder. I'm an idiot. But I don't think they'll be able to get to us from anywhere except for Maybe now Hutta, but I don't know. I don't think so. That's pretty far. Alert command. Enemy troops at our position. And after this, we'll have a decent, or er, we'll have pretty much the entire mid rim. Oh, there's nothing coming. The Republic has played into my hands. Our new Confederacy alliance grows stronger. Just go kill it. Those are all definitely confirmed 100% Half-Life 3 garrison ships, and we can kill them. I'm going to try to challenge myself to not say decent for the rest of the week. Yes, sir. It's not going to work. I don't even say it in my normal life. I don't know why I say it so much during Let's Plays. Come on, take them out. The biggest challenge with this battle is just going to be getting over the mess of blue shells here. You going to retreat? Yes, no. Take them out. No, don't take them. What am I doing? I know they're not real. They're real, but they're not persistent units. They don't count. Uh, is that just the Lucre Hulk? Yeah. Yes, sir. What should we do? Take out the shields. That's what I said. I'm glad we're on the same page. Even if you do. If you want to see series. Come on. Don't lose any ships. To the Republic scum. Are we still on hard? I need to make sure we are. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because we have definitely won this battle. I mean I don't wanna I don't wanna say definitely. This NTB scum or NTB squadron could really uh, pull out some some sick tricks here, but I think we're safe. That's just gonna kill them. Yes, 
That's what, five or six, seven, eight. About eight hard points left. This bulwark's actually taking some taking some damage. Oh yeah, pass right in front of the special weapon. That's exactly what you want to do. All right, we have Honiger now. We can just send the army up on top of the planet until we're comfortable with it. And I guess we'll go straight for straight for Nalhuda. Oh, did I put that? I did. Okay. Well, we have the Persuaders here. It's only a four-stack planet. Uh, why not go for it? Then we can almost link up. Well, we can even take Kamino and Bothawi from there. That'd be so nice. We're doing it. That's what we're doing. We're just gonna take all this. I don't. I don't even care. Take the wheel. I'll fortify some of the new stuff after we take it. But the main thing is getting all, all our forces controlled here. So, oh, we lost Renvar. Damn, I didn't build anything there. Oh well. We can swing back up. I feel like, as is standard operating practice in the mod... Oh. <laughs> I don't get why you'd raise the pop cap and then raise the cost of the population of the individual units when having a higher than 10 pop cap causes issues in the first place. Because the end result is still going to be the same number of units on the map. No three. Like I. And having the, having the units that cost like, three or four or two or three even, uh, population in the first place, makes it incredibly hard to get a foothold to begin with. Especially when the other side, seems to start with, basically full. Full unit stacks. Should have just brought down more stuff immediately. But we have like we have nothing we can use to fight them. We get two units. I'm just going to use these. Take the planet by force. Can you take them out? Where is their stuff going to be? Okay, nothing useful over here. Get out of there! You're you're all dead. You can't even shoot at things on the ground.
Oh my god. <sighs> There's a difference between difficult and frustrating. At least give us the resources to fight off what they put there. They're, like, they won't even leave if I tell them to get off the bomb, so... Can I have you? Just lost that too. Oh my god. Come on. How? How am I supposed to do anything? For the love of God. No, don't chase them. Don't chase them. You're gonna die to literally nothing. I don't like having to use just cheese. Okay. Can you go this way and not blow? Okay, there's just turbo laser towers. Which I have to take with my zero units. <laughs> Is it better to just go around the bottom here? Is that what I should be doing? Alright, I'm gonna send them around the bottom here. Kill, yeah, just kill all the nobody stuff. Can I have you? No, don't blow, don't blow it up. Is that ours now? That's ours now. Uh, take that out. Take that out. Uh, I guess we'll go take that. I don't intend to actually fight them. I'm gonna just bomb them. Oh, that's not even dead. But it doesn't matter, because the... We took out the... That thing. You know the thing.
Can we have the credits? We will take the last reinforcement point. And take a homing spider droid. And hailfires. Bombing run. What are you doing? I never told you to attack that. Get the hell out of there. I just want to make it so that when we kill stuff, we don't uh, have to kill it again. That's, that's goal number one. It's a cheap strategy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, just go around, I guess. Take that out, take that out, kill the kill the clones. We're just gonna <laughs> take out the walls too. Are they, no, these are just nogri. Nogi. Come up a little bit, kill those clones too. Uh Keep going for this. May as well bomb them. Rather than waiting. <laughs> there we go. So we'll do that. Get you guys over there. I think that's all our ground units. So yeah, we'll take that out. I'm going to go back for the wheel. They have Renvar. What's this? Can't really see. I think the, this will be the last thing we do. We'll just retake the wheel here. And that'll wrap up the episode. Maybe they'll actually stick around. Oh, you're you're going the wrong way, buddy. I want everyone to kill the ISDs. Will they do it though? Okay, they're leaving. Not gonna. Ooh, no, no. Well, well. They get out with the ISD. We lost an ISD though, so still worth it. I don't think we lost more than one or two munificent. So altogether, not too bad. But I think that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. We will be back on Friday with. Oh, they lost both. I guess it was ion cannons. So. Uh, yeah, so we'll be back on Friday with more. I think what we're going to do is retake Renvar, and then uh, we will probably go on to Nalhada and Kashyyyk.
before we can take out these three planets, because I think they're going to be pretty important planets to take for the Republic War effort, and that can only help us, and then we'll go into the core later. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Remember to like and subscribe to the videos. If you did, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.